Hey guys, I'm here with OpenQuant ready to solve question number two, four of a kind. Now this problem statement asks us to simply find the probability of drawing a four of a kind from a standard five card hand. Let's just quickly review what a standard deck of cards looks like. So there are 52 total cards broken down by 13 different ranks. That's what is denoted. We'll start with ace, two, three, all the way up to king. And for each of these ranks, there are four suits, notably the spades, clubs, diamonds, and hearts. 13 ranks, four suits each, 13 times four is 52. Now we're asked to calculate the probability of drawing a four of a kind from five of these 52 cards, meaning that we draw five cards randomly without replacement from this hand, and we want four of those five to be of the same rank. So they could all be aces, they could all be twos, kings, jacks, whatever. And the fifth card can be any, any of the remaining uh, ranks. Now, when approaching a probability question, it's often you know, good advice to begin by counting the number of valid ways and the number of total ways. And so the probability of this event or an event in general is the number of valid ways which satisfy said event divided by number of total ways that a particular trial or game could result. So for this problem in particular, let's start by counting the number of valid ways. So we have one, two, three, four, five cards that we are choosing from our deck of 52, and we want four of them to be of the same rank. Let's just denote this general rank to be A. So four of them have rank A, and the fifth card can be any different rank. We'll call it B. So now let's think we have one rank A, and we have one rank B. These A's can only take on 13 possible different values because there are only 13 different ranks. So we can write 13 because there are 13 options to choose these first four cards from. And once we've done that, there are 48 remaining cards from which any of them are valid to choose our fifth card. We can then multiply this across to get the total number of valid ways of this particular hand and we get 624. To prove that this methodology works even in uh, identical cases we can have a similar 3, 4, 5. This is the exact same hand but now we are fixing our first rank to be the single and our second rank will be the quad. So in every aspect this is the exact same hand. It's still a four of a kind. But now for the first single, we have 52 options because there are 52 possible cards to choose from. And for the quad, now we've taken this single out, which means we can't choose rank A. There are only 12 valid ranks left. So we have 12 possible options for the last four cards. We can multiply this through and we get the exact same answer, proving that this methodology is sound and that generalizing ranks to the cards that we choose from is an appropriate way to count the number of ways to draw four of a kind. Now before we can conclude this problem, it does ask for the probability of drawing such a hand. And to do that, we need to now divide by the total number of ways. If you've taken a combinatorics or discrete math class, we know that this reduces to a, a simple counting problem where we have 52 total options and from them we want to choose five. Uh, this ends up being a quite a large number. Uh, to be exact, it's 2 million, 5, 8, 9, 6, 0, right, so 2 million 598,960 total ways to draw five cards from 52. And then we are now going to divide this by the total number of valid ways to get our resultant probability, which is equal to 
percent. So two hundredths of a percent. It's very unlikely if you're just drawing five random cards from a deck uh, to end up getting a four of a kind. We'll now proceed to verify this with code just to see if it really is unlikely as we have proved the theory to show. Hey guys, so here we have our coded up solution. Uh, we start with just creating a standard deck. We have the four suits, spades, clubs, diamonds, and hearts, along with the 13 individual ranks. We then create a deck class with a method random hand, which simply returns a random sample of specified size of cards. So this just simulates for our case, dealing five random cards from our deck. We then one million times draw five cards from the standard deck and see how many of them actually result in a four of a kind. So according to our theory, the probability was 24 thousandths of a percent. So that multiplied by a million yields, there should be around 240 total hands in a million trials, which have a four of a kind. Let's run it and see how close we get to the theoretical value. Okay, so we got 272 the first time. 222 the second. Third time's a charm. 246. So on the third trial, we got quite close to 240, uh, proving that in general, the pro the over a million trials, we tend to converge towards the true value of the expected true value.